Hi, this is Linners. Welcome back. And here, Jason are going to teach you how then you can use your business English expressions. The context we are going to learn is how then we can put in the discussion. In Bahasa Indonesia, dalam rapat tidak jarang kita punya perasaan ingin menyela omongan peserta dalam rapat. Untuk itu, bagaimana cara memberikan bentuk atau ekspresi saat menyela dengan baik dan benar? Maka Jusin akan memberikan beberapa frasa bahasa Inggris penting saat menyela dalam rapat. Beberapa frasa yang akan Anda pelajari di sini adalah yang pertama, menyela dengan sangat sopan, menyela dengan sopan atau biasa, lalu kemudian menyela dengan sungguh-sungguh, menyela dengan kuat dan sungguh-sungguh, lalu kemudian menolak interupsi, atau dan yang terakhir, mengizinkan interupsi. We are going to start from the first place how we can interrupt very politely in the meeting for business English. So, use these expressions. Mention the name. Put, I reckon, Budiman is already here. Go and check it out, please. Put, saya pikir Budiman sudah di sini. Pergi dan lihatlah. You can say, sorry. Ah, sorry, I never meant that. Yet, there was something I had to inform. Maaf, saya tidak bermaksud, namun ada sesuatu yang perlu saya informasikan. And then the following, actually. Actually, it was Anya who arrived late. It was fine because she could catch up with our discussion. Sebenarnya, Anya yang datang telat. Tidak masalah, karena dia bisa menyusul rapat kita semua. And then the following, may I have a word? May I have a word? The urgency of training is significant. It will raise the workforce productivity. Ah, boleh saya bicara? Pentingnya pelatihan itu sangat perlu. Hal tersebut akan meningkatkan produktivitas pekerja. Daftar sekarang juga. Program fundamental dari Chosin Online English Course. Program yang akan membantu kamu belajar bahasa Inggris benar-benar dari dasar. Dengan mengikuti program ini, kamu akan dapatkan berbagai macam benefit, mulai dari waktu, sistem belajar, dan juga tutor yang berpengalaman. Tunggu apa lagi? Karena kamu butuh belajarnya saat ini, maka daftar sekarang juga. Info ada di bawah, cek deskripsi. See ya! And then how you can interrupt politely in the meeting for business English? So use this expression, guys. Number one, can I make a comment? Can I make a comment? Can I make a comment? After we have made up the final deal, the leader should put a sign on the paper. Bisakah aku memberikan komentar? Setelah kita memutuskan kesepakatan akhir, pemimpin rapat sebaiknya membubuhkan tanda tangan di atas kertas. And then the following, may I come in here? May I come in here? In fact, working remote is effective but quite risky in terms of responsibility and monitoring. Ah, boleh saya masuk? Faktanya, bekerja jarak jauh itu efektif, namun cukup beresiko dalam hal tanggung jawab dan monitoring. The following, may I interrupt? Uh, may I interrupt? I do have something relevant to disclose. Uh, boleh saya menyela? Saya benar-benar memiliki sesuatu untuk diungkapkan. Then, could I say something? Could I say something? If we want to lower cost, uh, we need other suppliers. Bisakah saya mengatakan sesuatu sedikit? Jika kita menginginkan harga yang lebih rendah, kita membutuhkan supplier yang lain. And then the last one, the other one, sorry to interrupt. Sorry to interrupt. Kindly, all participants mute the phone during the meeting. Uh, maaf menyela, tolong seluruh peserta rapat. Mematikan gawai selama rapat. And then the following, how you can interrupt strongly in the meeting for business English. Jason will give you some English phrases you can use in this context. Try this out. Please listen to me. Please listen to me. It is important. Ah, tolong dengarkan saya. Ini penting. And then, do you mind if I jump in here? Do you mind if I jump in here? I have to leave in five minutes. Boss is waiting. Apakah Anda keberatan jika saya menyela? 
Saya harus pergi 5 menit lagi Bos menunggu And then I don't mean to intrude but uh, I don't mean to intrude But Solihun is not exactly reliable Saya tidak bermaksud mengganggu Namun Solihun tidak bisa dipercaya And then the following Can I add something? Can I add something? Cosmo suppliers should be able to supply us. Bisakah saya menambahkan sedikit? Uh, Cosmo supplier sebaiknya bisa memberikan persediaan kepada kita. And the other one, you can use like, what are you trying to say? What are you trying to say? I never accepted a gift from any client. Apa yang coba ada katakan? Saya tidak pernah menerima hadiah apapun dari klien. And then the following here, some expressions you can use when we'd like to interrupt very strongly in meeting for business English. Use these expressions. What are you getting at? What are you getting at? Can't you see your observation led to the wrong direction? Apa yang sebenarnya Anda maksud? Bukankah Anda lihat pengamatan Anda mengarah ke arah yang salah? And then the following Will you let me speak? Will you let me speak? You are not the only person here. Everybody deserves to point out their notion. Akankah Anda mengizinkan saya berbicara? Anda tidak satu-satunya orang di sini. Semua orang berhak mengutarakan gagasannya. And then the following, won't you let me give an opinion? Ini meminta izin. Won't you let me give my own opinion? I demand the right to speak. Tidakkah Anda mengizinkan pendapat saya? Saya menuntut hak berbicara di sini. And then, will you shut up for a minute, please? Agak kasar ya. Will you shut up for a minute, please? Don't you see everyone's fed up? Bisakah Anda diam sejenak? Tidakkah Anda lihat semua orang sudah merasa cukup? And then the following... Can't you be quiet? Can't you be quiet for a moment, for goodness sake? Bisakah Anda diam sejenak? The following expression, when you're trying to avoid interruption in the meeting for business English, we suggest you use these expressions. Number one, perhaps we could leave that for later on. Perhaps we could leave that for some other moment. Mungkin kita bisa meninggalkan itu lain kali. And then the following, will you let me finish? Will you let me finish? You can object when your turn comes up. Anda izinkan saya menyelesaikan. Anda bisa keberatan ketika giliran Anda tiba. And then the following, I'd rather go on with. I'd rather go on with the current subject as it needs finishing immediately. Saya mending melanjutkan pembahasan terakhir sebagaimana itu perlu diselesaikan segera. And then the following, would you mind not interrupting? Would you mind not interrupting all the time? Apakah Anda bisa tidak menyelas panjang waktu begitu? And then the following, allow the interruption and business English. So you can use these expressions like let's hear. Ah, let's hear what Aldo has to say. Mari dengarkan apa yang harus Aldo katakan. And in the following, you may speak. Of course, you may speak, Sylvie. Tentu saja Anda boleh bicara, Sylvie. And then you can say like an instruction, please go ahead. Ah, please go ahead, Diana. What is so urgent? Lanjutkan, Diana. Apa yang penting? And then the following, we'd be delighted. We'd be delighted to hear your thoughts. Maul, please go ahead. Kita akan senang mendengarkan keraguanmu. Maul, lanjutkan saja. And the last, but not the least, you're not interrupting. Ah, you're not interrupting at all. Everyone is free to share their opinions. Anda tidak menyela sama sekali. Semua orang bebas berbagi pendapat. 
So these are some expressions you can use in business English anytime you'd like to put yourself in the meeting. So if you want to check more content of our brand, please just visit our website, justintranslation.com. Okay, see you international and sashable people by then. Duh.